the mother had uh, all the cancer removed, all the treatments that go with that kind of cancer. Uh, and, but the treatments took a toll on her. They did. Because of the severity of the cancer, she had to have chemo and radiation at the exact same time. Mm -hmm. And it took a major toll on her. But what we didn't anticipate is how it would affect her mind and how the enemy would take advantage of that. So we were visiting at my parents' house. I'd lived out of the state and we were there. And out of the blue, my mother snouts. Now she's a five foot two, very petite Southern Belle woman. And she just snouted and hollered at my father. And this was so out of her character. And she went into the bedroom and she called for my name. <laughs> at first, I was not that excited about going in that bedroom. But I went in there and I had not seen my mother without her hair. I had purposely kept myself from seeing that because I wanted to be strong for my mother. Right. And I went in there and she pulled her cap off and she laid her head on my chest. And she said, Ryan, I'm tired and I cannot do this anymore. I can't go on. I want to die. I need to die. Let me die. It's the last thing you expected her to do. I never anticipated her saying that. And I took my mother, I remember so vividly, just pushing her back by her shoulders. And I said, Mom, I need you to hear me as a man of God for a moment and not your son. And I need you to know that this is not God's will for your life. If you will give me 40 days to pray and fast for your life, I will fight for you for the next 40 days. And at the end of the 40 days, if you do not feel like you can live, I will pray you into heaven. I will pray that God take you on, but let me fight for you. This wasn't preconceived. It just came out of you. It came out. So I did. I fasted. I prayed. I warred for my mother. And I kid you not, on day 40, my phone rings, and my mother says this. Ryan, Ryan I, have I have a reason to live. To live. I, I have, have grown grandkids grand to play with. Uh -huh. yeah, you remember he purposely didn't tell her that? Who told her? God had to. God brought the dream back to my mother's, and that's when I knew that God had renewed her mind and restored that prophecy back into her life. And she went on and has been cancer-free ever since. Yeah.